We'll probably find a place to go and rest here pretty soon. You know, there's lots of lots of corpses up here to loot. There was 127 of them. This is a very useful battle. Eye of the Hunter. Damage plus 2, attack bonus plus 2. This might be a little better than what he's got. Yes. Because he had a deflection bonus from that, but now that he's got a ring, it doesn't matter. Ooh, that's a nice cloak. It's a very nice cloak. Um, so why does that only increase his armor class by one? Where else is he getting a deflection bonus from? Oh, from this thing. Yes, let's uh, try giving it to him. He only gets one out of that. He gets two. I think I'll keep that. You called, if you wish it. These roots have been cut. Zanti are trying to wreck the tree here. How dare they? How dare they wreck the wonderful tree? The tree never harmed them. Might be resting soon. Hmm, this looks like a guy I might be able to buy stuff from. Are you Legion mercenaries? If so, I'd flee now if I were you. I've got a wizard's arsenal at my disposal, enough to level this tower. We, we are not your enemy. We're from the Ten Towns, and we've come to help. Forgive me, it's just that, well, I wasn't expecting to see any friendly faces in Kaldahar come through that door. I'm Shemus. I'm the blacksmith in Kaldahar. Ah, that means that we can buy stuff from you. What are you doing here? I was hoping Oryk left some of his wizard's arsenal lying around here with the Yanti attack. We need anything we can get our hands on, even if we hope to drive him out of Kaldahar. Your Oryk is the, uh, he was a merchant in the first game. He was a wizard who lived here many years ago, but he left a long time ago, and no one's heard from him since. It took us months to realize he was gone. We figured it was best not to disturb his tower in case he came back, so we've watched it fall apart for years. Normally I wouldn't have this place, but I thought there might be some magic items here we could use to defend Kaldahar. Blah, blah. I found a whole mess of scrolls under the bed, no less. They were all in this old scroll case. Ooh, yeah, scrolls. I love. I love scrolls. Go see what scrolls you found. We're now looking for someone named Gerbash. Have you seen him? He wasn't he at the Watchtower of Jermsey and Nathaniel? He left the Watchtower and was headed for Kaldahar, but we don't know if he arrived or not. Uh, perhaps the battle involved you know, on the eastern side of town. Okay, we'll check it out. In the meantime, could we see what scrolls you found? Yes, yes, here we are. He's probably got, like, everything. He's probably got everything, everything. Um, carrion summons, what's that? Oh, carrion and crawl, crawler, who cares? Soul eater. Um, power word silence, tensor's transformation, flesh to stone, stone to flesh, stone to flesh, Odalute's freezing sphere. Uh, see, I don't want to buy any scrolls that uh, Benito can't use. So I'm an invisible stalker. Globe of invulnerability. Circle of death. It's kind of a crappy spell. Acid fog. I just saw acid fog. Sixth level spell. That's not a bad one. <sighs> Overall, though, don't really need any of these. Don't really need any scrolls at all. What can I do for you if you wish it? Where might I find Isalor? He's in the southern part of town. We've already seen him. With the Yanti attacks, he's changed. Most of the time he's normal, but when he's attacked, it's like he and the Hearthstone gem become one. His eyes pulse with the same light as the gem, 
and he won't even hear you if you're right next to him. It's like he shuts off the outside world when the gem is threatened, so be careful. Uh, farewell. Let's see if he's got any good crap here. Oh, Legends of Icewind Dale. I can probably sell that for like a gold piece. Crap. Let's go in this little place. Sounds like a blacksmith's place. It's a wonder he's still banging on metal with all these Yanti attacking. I think he'd get out here and help. I stand ready. Duty calls. Ah, it's Conlin. Who's there? Are you friend or foe? Speak up. Damn your eyes or I'll get a hammer in your skull. We're allies from the Ten Towns. We've come to help. Ten Towns, you say? Hmm, been seeing and hearing too much slithering from my own good these past few days, and I'm jumping at everything. Hold a minute. Are you the sole source from East Haven I've been hearing about? Uh, we're mercenaries, yes, but not from East Haven. Aye, well, Targos, that's what I meant. Name's Conlon. I run the smithy here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think the damn snakes have gotten him. Who's his boy? Uh, snakes have decided to slither down here from the dragon's eye and lay siege to Kaldahar. They're tearing at the roots of the great tree, trying to force Izalor away from the Hearthstone gym. Your son's name isn't Sheemish, is it? Aye, my boy Sheemish went up to Oryx Tower to try and see if he could dig up any old magic that fool mage had lying around. So we found him. Uh, I could try to find him if you want. If the auntie have captured him, he can't be too far away. reason I'm not going to tell him that I have found him is because I want somebody with charisma to report the success. We'll see if we can find your son. Farewell. So let's have old Adolf talk to him. Oh. <sighs> We're looking for Gerbash. Have you seen him? A dwarven innkeeper. He left the watchtower and was headed for Kaldahar. We don't know if he arrived or not. Uh, he's still... He's fine. We've encountered your son. Now we got only 1,200... 1,200 XP. Glad we could help. Who's Auric? Mm, blah, blah, blah. Just telling you about the guy from the first game. What happened to him? He just left or something. Do you know where Oric went? Uh, yeah, he's glad he's gone. Why did you, why'd you stay behind? Most of the villagers have left. Okay, so he's not going to run away. This has happened before. Filthy snake men attacked Kaldahar years ago, kidnapped my son Sheemish, and terrorized the town. Then a force from Targos arrived to make a stand against them, taught them a lesson they did. A force from Targos? Well, no, from East Haven. Ah, that's the group from the first game, once again. Mm, I'd be interested in seeing the wares you mentioned. Sheemish and I were woken by the strange greenish glow emanating from them. It was like each one was a torch. They were so bright. A glow? Mm, uh, let's see. I'd like to see these enchanted items. Hmm. Asamar's Aura. Armor bonus plus 10. Where is under the effect of the spell protection from evil? Armor bonus plus 10. I think I might buy that for Joseph. We'll see. Mercenary's Lot. Armor bonus plus 7, max dex bonus plus 2. Lightweight armor, weighs half as much as ordinary chain mail. Hey, that's good. I bet that's good for uh, Mao. It should be good for Mao. And that's 52,000, of course, so that's uh, a little expensive. Oh, there's so much great stuff here. Lots and lots of great stuff here. I don't even know if I can afford all this stuff. I mean, obviously, I can't afford all of it. Ring of Freedom of Movement would be a good one to have. What's a mercenary sack? What's the difference between that and a bag of holding?
Well, we'll do a little more fighting, come back here, and, uh... Or if we can rest here. Ah, yes, we can. So, I'm going to end the play session here. Next time we come back, we will finish clearing the yan -Ti out of Kaldahar. I think there's still more left. So, once again, thank you for tuning in. Please leave comments and feedback. I hope you're loving the Let's Play, and we'll see you next time.